Hey YouTube, part of the Creed here, with my first episode of the Abstergo Ability Guide, where I discuss some of the abilities and their uses in the Assassin's Creed multiplayer. Today we'll be talking about Closure, which causes chase breakers around you to close down. The ability can be crafted for cooldown, which reduces the recharge time, range, which adjusts the distance at which chase breakers around you close, and duration, which increases the amount of time chase breakers stay closed. Chase breakers are scattered throughout the map, indicated by the white animus effect. The closure ability affects all chase breakers, including gates, lifts, lanterns, and chandeliers. When the ability is used, a blue ring spreads around you, indicating the newly closed chase breakers with a blue shading. When the effect wears off, the blue shading disappears and the gates reopen depending on how long they are crafted for. Closure can be used offensively in situations where your target is attempting to escape, with the ability preventing them from getting away from you. By activating Closure, you can prevent their escape and get the kill quickly. It can also be used defensively. The important thing to remember here is that chase breakers affected by your Closure will reopen if you approach them. After activating the ability and trapping your pursuer in between gates, you can approach and reopen the chase breakers. Usually, your pursuer won't be expecting the chase breakers to open, giving you the surprise stun. This effect, however, may get in the way of situations like chases, when you are expecting a chase breaker affected by your ability to stay closed. This may lead to you and your target going along different paths, making it easier, not harder, for your target to escape. Next, let's talk about the use of closure in different game modes. In deathmatch, the use of closure is limited due to the small size of the map. Chase breakers are not very frequent due to this size. Because there are no chases in the mode, you usually won't be spending a lot of time trying to run down your target, and even if you use closure to trap your target or pursuer, they will eventually catch up with you. To make matters worse, some maps don't even have any chase breakers in deathmatch. These include Venice and Castel Gondolfo. This lack of chase breakers makes the ability completely obsolete in these cases. Fortunately, Deathmatch is the only mode which has such a limited size. Other free for all modes like Assassinate and Wanted are much larger. Here, chase breakers can be found more frequently and can be used against running targets or pursuers with the surprise stun still available. In team modes like Artifact Assault, Closure becomes helpful offensively to prevent your pursuers from recovering the artifact by closing nearby chase breakers. It is especially useful for areas where there are two chase breakers, where you use one and want to prevent your pursuers from using the other. It is also effective defensively to close exits to those who have stolen your artifact, giving you the edge and the easy kill. In Manhunt, another team mode, Closure can be used both to pull off the surprise stun I showed you earlier on your pursuer, or to prevent them from gaining on you in chase situations. What's important to remember is that chases and running away are usually much more pertinent in team modes like Manhunt, Artifact, Assault, and Chess Capture, where you are either offense or defense, instead of trying to juggle both, like you would in a free-for-all modes. So what are my personal thoughts on closure? I found the ability to be useful in certain situations, but in most free-for-all modes, I believe it could be swapped out for a more useful ability. In modes like Artifact Assault and Manhunt, I can see why certain playstyles may benefit more from having it. There are even some oddball situations like this one, where closure can come in handy. But for the most part, it really isn't the most powerful tool to have. In terms of crafting, I believe the ability does its job well enough that the main problem would be having it when it is needed, so cooldown would benefit most. If you guys have different ideas on the ability, feel free to comment below, and if you'd like to see more Abstergo Ability Guides, click the top left corner, or if you want to check out some of my other videos, click the top right corner. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.